Hi there, it's Mike Munzer, and in this video, I'm going to show you the four ways that negative suggestions can be removed from Google Autocomplete. So if you've typed your name or your business name into Google and you're seeing a suggestion appear that you don't want to appear, uh, here are the four methods that you can use to try to get rid of it. Number one is Google actually has a uh, place where you can report offensive autocomplete predictions. And the URL you can see here is support.google.com slash web search slash contact slash report underscore autocomplete. And here you can see this is very easy to use. Uh, first here, Google is asking what words did you type in the search box? And so here is where you would type your company name. So let's just say your company name, it's ABC Electric. So I would type that here. If I was typing a personal name, I would just put the personal name there. And then Google is asking which prediction was offensive. And so let's say that you have a prediction after your name like uh, lawsuit or scam that you're trying to get rid of, then you would type that right here. And then you also have the option to add additional, so you could add multiple terms here. Now, in my experience, reporting offensive autocomplete predictions to Google doesn't really work that well. It, this is more useful for uh, maybe if you had some pornographic term or you know some term related to child abuse or molestation or something like that. Um, those are the types of predictions that Google, Google will usually remove um, using this procedure. So your second uh, option to try to push out negative suggestions in Google Autocomplete is simply to wait. Um, their algorithm is refreshed every two to three weeks historically and if there's no search activity and if you're able to remove the negative content from the web that's causing the suggestion to appear then there's a good chance that the suggestion could just fall away um, i've seen this happen for um, individuals specifically where there's really no one searching for their name and a negative suggestion will appear for a period of several months and then it will go away uh, naturally. So that's the first two methods there are sort of do-it-yourself methods. The next two methods are ones where you're gonna need professional help. Now the third method is what I call surgical removal. And this is a legal process that involves uh, a legal team. And what we do is we go to Google um, with a court order asking that a negative suggestion or suggestions be completely removed from autocomplete uh, permanently. Now the advantage of this is that it's very pinpoint control. You're able to go in and say, okay, I want this suggestion removed um, and it, it is removed and it's permanent and it's never going to come back. Um, the downside is that it is a legal process. It does take time and usually the cost runs in the neighborhood of $10,000 um, or more. Your fourth way to remove negative uh, suggestions from Google Autocomplete is to push it out with search activity. And that's what my firm does. And we do this by creating positive search activity for terms that you want to see in autocomplete and over time with sustained search activity the negative predictions uh, can go away and in other videos i will show you exactly what we do to try to push out your negative suggestions so if you have negative suggestions 
that you want to try to get rid of, you can contact us at 503-890-6663 or send me an email at mikemunter at gmail.com. Please be sure to include the keyword and the negative suggestions that you want pushed out. Uh, that's what allows us to give you an accurate quote. And if you'd like to view our other educational videos, simply uh, go to Google and search for the Google Autocomplete Bible or click on the link in the description.